Hello, 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 hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you we're, so much. We're going to wait just a few minutes for the rest of the people to join the class, okay? Okay. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. We're going to wait just a few minutes for the rest of the people to join the class. Okay. Good. Good evening, everybody. We are going to wait just two more minutes for the rest of the students to join the class. So let's wait just two more minutes. Okay. Teacher, sometimes I... Uh disconnect the, the webcam because the sound is like breaking down. So sometimes, okay. uh, my pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. Mm -hmm.
Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. I, I am Eric Asensio and I will be your teacher in this module. So it's a pleasure to meet you. That is the first thing, of course. And uh, well, if you have questions, if you need anything, remember that you can uh, ask during the class. Also remember that you can chat with me directly then the chat, that is my phone number. And also you can chat there in the group. So welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, well, the first thing we are gonna do is to check the learning structures. I know that you have the experience, but this is something we need to do every time. So once again, uh, that's my name, Eric Asensio. It's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, well, this is the advanced group number one. So welcome to the advanced. And uh, well, I know that you know, but these are the little requirements for first of all. I know that you know, but first of all, the name, the full name has to be there on the presentation, right? So that is very, very important. It, well, I guess we don't have any, any listener. So, but in case somebody says that it's a listener, you just put down the name. Remember, this is very important. Remember that the camera has to be on through all, all the class. So that is very important. This is because uh, it's a for requirement. Remember that that is very important for them. Sometimes they do an audit and if you have the camera off, sometimes they, well, they do many things. One of the things that they do is uh, not to provide you, not to give you another scholarship. So it's very important for you to have the camera on. Also remember to minimize the sound of the background. So if you are not speaking, you can mute the, the microphone. So everything is fine, right? I know that sometimes some things happen, but that is not a problem. Uh, participation is very important. So I know that this is advanced and I, I know that you speak very, very nice, very fluent. So if you want to provide feedback, if you want to, to give an opinion, to say something, of course, the most important thing here is to practice English, to speak, right? So do you have any question about the first part? Not at the moment. Good. So let's move on. So remember that you need to be here a hundred percent of the classes. I know that we work sometimes we're late. Uh, some people sometimes they they are driving or they are going home and they connect in the car. So that is not a problem. And I know that it might be dangerous for you to speak or participate. So if that is if that is the case, of course, I will wait for you to be at home, but it's important for you to connect to the class. That is very, very important. So we are going to check the assistance. You know, the attendance is going to be three times uh, during the class. The first time is going to be at the beginning, then at nine, and then at nine, five, five, so something like that. So you can say whatever, you can say present here, whatever you want to say, okay? Also remember that we will have one once every class. So at the end of the class, I'm going to tell who is going to be on the one-on-one and we can discuss about anything from the class or any questions that you might have, or if you want just to practice, that's why we're going to have those 10 minutes. And uh, well, Permissions are not available. Remember that this is part of Insaforp. So, I mean, sometimes I know that there are some situations and do some students, they, they type to me, you know, I have a problem. And I say, yes, that is fine, but I, I cannot provide any permission. So try, try to connect on every class. I know, as I was telling you that is, there are different situations where you, might have some problems to connect for different reasons. Good, do you have any questions about this? It's okay. Good, good. Okay, so this is not correct, but anyways, we're gonna check. So 
we have to have 80% of the homework and evaluations on the platform. So we can move on to the next one, you know that. Homeworks are on the platform. We're going to check that in a few minutes. And then uh, all the homeworks are related to the topics that we have covered during the class. So we finish the class and you can do the, you can do the homeworks there in the, in the platform, right? Uh, this is not correct. Oh, well, yeah, this is correct. Yeah, I remember that. This is for Tuesday, 12 July. is going to be the day for you to finish the midterm test. I know that you have experience on that one. So, of course, if you have questions, we, we can discuss many things. And the final exam should be before Wednesday, 27th. That is our last day of class. So, remember that we will have class five weeks starting today. Uh, the manual can be downloaded from the platform. Also, if you need the, uh, that to be sent on the group, of course, we can do that one. So uh, we can print the manual, we can have it digital, so that is no problem. Any questions on this part? Oh, it's okay. Good. No, no. So uh, remember that whenever we are in the class, we are going to be in mute. Uh, of course, if you want to participate, then you I mute and you can provide any kind of feedback, any answer, any comment, any opinion. Uh, the camera has to be on, that is very important. We can use the chat. Uh, sometimes we use the break and rooms. Me personally, I sometimes don't use that any, that much because I prefer everybody to speak here. And of course, you can raise your hand to speak or to ask for help. Any questions before we finish this part? It's okay. Good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to check the attendance. Only a few today. I hope the other people can join later on. So, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Hey teacher, present here. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeth Asensio de Mejía. Present. Hey, you're my cousin, that's good. <laughs> Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, perfect. So I don't know why the other people are not here. Let me just check here. Sorry, teacher, Ana Claudia, present. The okay. computer will be busy. Ana Claudia, okay, good. Present, thank you. Good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see your message here, Ana Claudia, okay. Thank you.
Okay, very well. So we are going to, to start, of course, the first thing that we're gonna do is to introduce ourselves. So who wants to, well, I will be the first one, of course. So, so then you can introduce yourself. My name is Eric Asensio. I live in Santa Ana. I uh, really like to be here with you today. I really enjoy teaching. Um, on my daily, I don't work as a teacher, I work for Google, but I really, really enjoy teaching, so that's why I'm here. And um, I really like music, I play the guitar, I like to read, I like to watch movies, TV shows, so if you want to discuss about that one, it will be a pleasure. And um, I sometimes very busy, but of course, if you have questions, I will try my best to answer your questions yeah, that are related for English or any other thing. And well, it's a pleasure to meet you. So now is your turn. Uh, where do you live? What do you do? What do you like to do in your free time? So tell me about yourself. Who wants to be the first one? Ana Claudia, good. Thank you. Hello, good evening, teacher. My, well, my name is Ana Claudia. I live here in Santa Ana too. <laughs> I'm working from home because uh, I work for, for Concentrics. I, I'm an account in Cape Trucking. And thanks God for pandemic, <laughs> I'm working from home. <laughs> and, oh, I'm happy that we are finally here at this level. So I hope to uh, continue learning as much as I can. These uh, courses, uh, they have been very, very useful. In my case, I work in sales for English and Spanish account. And last year, the beginning, I was uh, kind of afraid. I thought that I wasn't able to complete or a, a good sale or stuff like that. But during all this time I've been learning here, I realized that I'm able to. So I'm happy to be here again with my classmates. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Thank the you. class, Ana Claudia. Nice Good. to meet you too. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Who wants to be the next? Me, Danny. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Danny. Well, um, my name is uh, Danny Garcia. I'm live, I live in San Salvador, San Salvador, San Salvador. And I work in Banco Pro America. And I, I have one year working there. And well, I like, I like football. I like I have to watch football now, but <laughs> I, I know usually play now. Life is very complicated. <laughs> um, also, I like to watch uh, movies and TV shows. And I love all the world of cinema, <laughs> and directors and, and all the kind of things. And, but I also like uh, to read some books and uh, listen some podcasts. And so just that, yeah, I'm glad to be here again, <laughs> learning. Very good, it's a pleasure, Danny. What kind of movies do you like? Well, um, uh, sci-fi and <laughs> I like um, movies like uh, Epic, about Epic uh, <laughs> uh, Age, and like uh, The Lord of the Rings, and <laughs> something like that. Um, but also I like uh, movies about Marvel, of the universe of Marvel, and DC Comics, and I don't know. <laughs> the other thing. Um, animes too. <laughs> yeah, very nice movie nice. too. Yeah, and series about anime that <laughs> based in mangas or something like that. Yeah, I 
in a good way. Nice, it's perfect. Yeah, of course you're you're yeah. gonna watch the new movie that is coming, the one from Thor, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, that, it looks good. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, anime is also yeah. good. Perfect. Thank you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Good. Who wants to be the next? I will. Perfect, go ahead. Okay, my name is Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Um, I live in San Salvador, well, Santa Tecla. Um, I work at Concentrics too, and I work from home too. And my hobbies are when I have a spare time, I like to play soccer and watch too. And the most that I like is go to beach with my wife and friends. Very good, perfect. So how often do you go to the beach? Uh, right now, uh, like, uh, how is the weather? Is I don't go uh, frequently, but when the weather is good, so I will, we go like, maybe two or three times a, a month every oh. every weekend that sounds very good that's yeah nice perfect thank you welcome to the class thank you teacher good who wants to be the next one Ileana. okay go ahead okay hello good evening everybody good evening. nice to meet you and i noticed that i I have some of well, once a lot of my classmates. I I see a, a lot of of uh, faces that I saw before. So nice to see you again, guys. And well, my name is Ileana Cañas. Um, I work from uh, Fort Claro, El Salvador. And in my free time, I actually really like to spend time with my family stay at home and also like to listen to music and yeah my and my favorite music pop and romantic music mm -hmm. okay very good perfect liana and do you have a favorite song um a lot of favorite songs <laughs> but uh, maybe one of my favorites um i think is set fire to the rain Mm -hmm. Very good. That sounds very nice. Maybe one day we can listen to you singing. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> we'll we, can, we can give it a try here. So that's nice. <laughs> good. Perfect. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Who Thank wants, you. My pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure. Who wants to be the next? Uh, let's Thank see. You, Juan Miguel. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, hi guys. Uh, my name is Juan Miguel Ran. Uh, I live here in Mexicanos. Uh, I work at Maritime Port Authority. I have uh, 10 years uh, of my life working in this institution. It's a government institution and it's a his, its main duty, it's about to, it's about to care uh, about all the, all the topics related with uh, maritime. Uh, I mean, uh, ships and every kind of uh, stuff with, uh, with um, floating uh, above the, the water. Okay, and the other thing, or the other, or the other main topic, it's about to, uh, all the facilities who are uh, near the the coast. Coast, I think it's the, the correct uh, word, uh, like uh, port facilities uh, in Cajutla, in La Unión, in uh, La Libertad too. Uh, in La Libertad, uh, specifically, with uh, all the people who is working uh, related to uh, 
artisan fishing. Maybe, I don't know, it's the, the right thing or the right uh, sentence. And uh, uh, giving permissions to, to these people to drive, a, um, I don't know how to say, lancha, boat, maybe? Yeah, they're a boat. A boat. Uh, in all the in all the levels, if, if we can say like that, from the the lowest level, who is a driving uh, artisan boat, from the to the to the top of the of the categories, maybe a, a captain of the of the international ship. Okay, uh, also a. Uh, institution give all the permissions related to people who is working uh, inside the cruises, cruises, cruises. Cruises, and yeah. um, I think those are the main duties in my institution uh, for the institution, but I work in uh, IT area. I have uh, 10 years of experience working in, in the Maritime Port Authority. Uh, I see uh, all the things related with the uh, tech support and configurations uh, with the, all the devices in, in the office, like such as printers, uh, endpoints like uh, personal computers cell phones and all the all the things like that um in my free time i like to play video games i like to watch movies too uh, maybe kind of listening to music okay uh, i don't know what else very good very interesting thank you and what kind of music do you like um Every kind of, of music. Okay. Paquita, uh, la del from, barrio, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Go, go, ACDC. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there is a, a, a mix of music that uh, sometimes you are thinking about Mozart and uh, in the next song, you are dancing with uh, uh, Aniceto Molina, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very Christmas that one. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your last name is very unique. Eh? So I this is the very first time that I see this last name. Ah, okay, okay. His brand is related to Usulutan. Uh, I I don't know many people who has the name, the, my last name, but all the people that I know that. Uh, they have my last name, we are related. Uh, maybe, um, it, uh, and that is because uh, all the people is from Sultan. Yeah. So I have many cousins, many aunts, and many uncles that I don't know who, who are they, but we are all related. <laughs> yeah, my, very interesting. Good, good to know. Okay. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Perfect. Who wants to be the next one? Hi. Hello, Heidi. I guess Roxana said something. Ah, okay. I to go to... ahead. Okay, Roxana, go ahead. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My name is Roxana Asensio. And I'm working from home. Uh, actually, I'm working in an insurance company and with Maria Alejandra. I guess that she's, she's there. And let me see. Well, in my free time, I don't have a lot of free time, but I try to spend time with my family and try to go to the gym and just resting. Okay, well, sleeping. In, yes, because in my in my case, I'm working in a counting payables. 
So uh, always we are uh, working with different cases and I try to um, establish my uh, schedule, but it's complex because you know, when you are working in accounting, it's weird, it's, um, you, you have different uh, schedule because you need to solve and you need to uh, answer all the cases. So. That's why I don't have a lot of time, but um, maybe then I will change. Okay, very good. So yeah, I know this is very difficult. I mean, I, I used to work for a bank as well. And oh my goodness, we finish sometimes at one in the morning. So it was crazy. So yeah, yeah. When you are in closing is, it's not your time. That is so true. Yes. Anyway, so I hope you sleep a lot and rest a lot whenever you have the chance. Thank you. Very nice. Perfect. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Roxanne. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Good evening, everyone. I feel really happy to see you guys again. Uh, my name is Heidi Salguero. I work for Banco Cuscatlan, and my hobby is I love plants. So I spend a lot of time in my garden. Very good. So you say that you have a lot of plants. So which one is your favorite? My favorite is that I have so many, <laughs> so oh. many favorites. <laughs> I love all of them. <laughs> Orchids, many kinds, I guess. Mm -hmm. I got uh, my Maybe I can say the Musaen, those are my favorites, one of my favorites. Okay, very good, very interesting. Have you seen them? I don't know if I have seen, I have seen a lot of uh, flowers, a lot of plants. Sometimes I don't remember the name of the plants, but I know that I have seen. But maybe, you know, in, the, uh, in this module, we're going to do an activity that is called bring and tell. So in that one, you are going to bring something and explain something about that. Maybe you will have the chance to, to show us. Sure, I'd be glad to. Yeah, we would like to, to know a little bit more about that. <laughs> Perfect, so is Heidi or Heidi? How do you pronounce that? It's really Heidi, but everyone tells me Heidi, you know? Yeah, yeah, I see. Like in Spanish is Heidi, right? But in English Like in Spanish is Heidi, mm -hmm. but the name is German. Yeah. That is and true. the right way is Heidi. That is true. Okay, nice to meet you then. And nice to meet you, teacher. Let's move on. So, who wants to be the next one? There are just a few more. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, go ahead, please, Ada. Uh, good night, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody, my name is Ada Azucena Cáceres. I live in Mexicano, San Salvador. Uh, my, I am a doctor. <laughs> I, um, my work is in the private and the security social. I, my free time is really my free time. I love a red book. I love the mister, mysterious um, investigation. Um, my favorite food is a Chinese food. I love the coffee. <laughs> um, only that. <laughs> very good, very nice. So. How how do you feel is going on right now, the pandemic? Now that you are there, there where all the action takes place. So do you believe that it's less, it's the same? How is going on that part? What is your experience? It's, uh, at the moment, it's, uh, it's, um, mm, it's, uh, it's, um, uh, it's a difficult, it's a, it's a more difficult. And the, uh, and the first the pandemic is a, a, 
it's a lot of work. It's a lot of uh, take a shower. <laughs> it's a it's a difficult. At the moment, it's at the tranquilo. <laughs> okay, so it's better now. So we don't have yes. a yes, lot teacher. of people. Okay, that yes. is good. Very nice. Be yes. careful there, please. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Hello. It's me. Hello, me. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, my name is Jose Osman Rivas. I live in San Jose, where I work in Catlán. Uh, I'm working from home too. And about my habits, so I, I really love play some instruments. So congas, timbal, and actually I'm learning to play drums. I think that is not easy, but I really like it. So the way that I'm learning, I, I think that it is, it's good to learn a little bit more. Yeah, what else? So and also I really like to play soccer too. Yeah, when I have time, right? But actually, so on my day off, I prefer to like stay at home, probably watching some funny videos or watching series and resting on that. Okay, sounds <laughs> very, very good. And what kind of music do you play? Get the instruments? Uh, yeah, actually, so I'm playing instruments or like the drums. So just in, in a curve. I, I, I don't know, so is that the correct pronunciation? Curve? Cure. Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. So that is like just when I have a mask. So I usually play the drums, right? But I learned like congas and timbal because I was in an orchestra, but it was uh, around five years ago. Yeah. So the was cumbia, merengue. In my mind, that's very interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> Of course, really you can nice. dance very well. Yeah, but, but it's just for seasons. So it's not all the time. Okay, very good. That sounds very nice. Thank you and yeah. uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good. Who wants to be the next one? Aha. So I guess I choose. So let's see. Let's listen to Ramon. Ramon Enrique Mata. Hello, Ramon. Are you there? Hello. So sorry. Uh, I have a problem with my microphone. Okay. Uh, good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Nice to meet you. And so my name is Ramon Enrique Mata, and I work in Claro Salvador, like Eliana. And I have uh, two years working in there. And let me see. I like to um, travel in the tourist place about or country El Salvador. Uh, for example, I grew up in Morazan, but actually uh, right now I live in, in Santa Ana and, and, and that's it. I, I like to go to the mountain, I like to go to the beach. <laughs> Very good, perfect, thank you. And. Uh, what is the most amazing place that you have visited? Um, let me see. I went to uh, Pital. I think it's the place is very different. Okay, El Pital. So, and uh, is it's possible there to to stay the night, right? So, yes, yes, I, yeah, uh, you can camp in or rent a, I don't know, cabana. 
Okay. Of how to say? Uh, Kevin, you can say. Kevin, uh, Kevin, yes, uh, yes. Okay, that's interesting. So maybe someday uh, you can show some pictures from that. So nice. Okay. Nice to meet you, Ramon. Thank you. And um, nice to meet you. who wants to be the next one? There are just a few more people. Okay, let's see Maria Alejandra. Hi, Chair. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, in this moment, I work in a home. Uh, I work together with Roxana in the same company. It's an insurance company in Dominican Republic. I am a subscription auxiliary. I only see a car, a police police's car. And I like to I like to the cactus. <laughs> okay. I have a lot of cactus, I different type of cactus. And when I have a time, I try to put in different pots or change the subtract or change the, or move because a lot of water or maybe need a sun or like this. I like to see uh, videos in YouTube, maybe of uh, food or different type of food. And um, because I like to see a uh, different culture for the other country. And what is that? <laughs> okay, for you, good, very good. How many cactus do you have? Do you have an idea? No, I don't know because I have cactus in my house and I have cactus in my in the granny house, in my granny house, and I see pear or I see pear because I have a lot of <laughs> but I don't know, but it's a lot of cactus. <laughs> Okay, that's very interesting hobby. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Nice to meet you. Good. Let's see. Let's listen now to, I guess, Francisco. I guess you're missing, right? Are you here with us, Francisco? Not possible, I guess. Uh, Irene, I don't know if you're missing. Hi, good evening, guys. My name is uh, Irene, and I work from Fruit of the Loom in Human Resources Area. And I enjoy listening to music, especially salsa and i enjoy to listen in gospel music too i enjoy watching tv i like to watch series like csi uh, related to criminal mind something like that and um, I enjoy to sleep too, <laughs> sleeping when, especially when it's raining. I enjoy it when I have free time. And yeah. Okay, very good, perfect. What kind of TV shows do you enjoy to watch? Yes. Which ones? TV show, like series. I enjoy watching series, um, for example, CSI. That's okay. your favorite. Th that is my favorite. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Aileen. And nice to meet you. Okay, who's missing? Let's see. Fernando. Hey, teacher. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Nice, nice to meet you, teacher. And hello, everyone. Okay, sorry, I'm a little sick since this morning because I got wet yesterday and and the day before and the last week, uh, you know, and 
the while it was raining. So, but uh, my name is Fernando Gonzalez. I work for uh, Alcicor Group in the IT department. Um, um, one of my hobbies is reading. I love reading. And I love to spend time with, with my family. I have two children. And my, my work is, uh, this day is complicated because my schedule changed since um, two months ago. Uh, at the beginning of this year, I work from I was work from home, but uh, nowadays I commute to Santa Ana, El Congo, Santa Ana, to San Salvador. And the trick is very hard. You know, the traffic is terrible in the channel. So it's usual. It's usually in, you will see in the first attendance. I only I try to to be connected because the time. But and it's usual that when you take the first attendance, I am the bus. But I will try my best effort to take advantage to this course because I need to improve my my English and you know is very very important to study this language. So I'm here. Nice to meet you again. Let's do it. Nice to meet you, Fernando. Yeah, you are so true. I used to. I mean, I'm working. I'm working from home right now, and when I I used to go to the office uh, from Santa Ana to San Salvador. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of traffic, a lot of many things. <laughs> yes. I understand, I understand. Okay, nice to meet you then. Thank you. Okay, who's missing? I guess Luis Orellana is missing. Hello, Luis, are you here with us? Not possible, okay. So my friends, first of all, welcome to the advanced. I know that you just finished the intermediate and the first thing is that uh, please uh, try to, try to uh, turn on the cameras. That is very important because in Forbes, sometimes they audit. So if you are not there in front, sometimes you are going to have some problems there. Second thing is that this is more a practice than a class. So we're going to discuss some things. It's the best that you can do is to speak. It doesn't matter if you are not correct. If you're not correct, we are going to correct you. Uh, and also is uh, another thing that we're going to try to do is to be a little bit more fluent, to speak a little bit faster. And also we're gonna watch some videos. We're going to check some other activities uh, in order to, to improve, of course. But it's going to be like more for you to speak. The speaking is very, very important. Don't be afraid. Remember that we're friends. So if you do a mistake, that's why we are here. It's better that you do the mistake in the class and not when you are in New York, right? So let's, Let's do our best, practice, speak, okay? You can say anything. Sometimes I do some practices that are like free practice. Sometimes I say, okay, today is free practice and you can choose any topic and we speak about anything that you want to speak. Sometimes we do individual practices like the one that we did right now. So what do you like to do? I mean, how do you do these different things? Sometimes I do not, I do not give homeworks, but sometimes I'm going to tell you for tomorrow, you are going to speak about this. So you think about what you're going to speak and then we're going to speak. So this is going to be like the class. Remember that if you have questions, you can ask me in the class, on the chat, on the group, and also in the individual chat. So that will be it. Now, the next question that I have for you is, do you actually have access to the platform, everybody. Does everybody have access to the platform already? Yes, I do. Yes, I do too. Yes, I do too. Okay, nobody is missing. Yes. 
Okay, that is very good. Because uh, if you have access to the platform, then we can start already on that. So this is the, the module that we're going to check. Of course, there are four sections. Remember that the second section is large, is larger because it's two weeks. And remember that we're gonna come here and whenever you are in the section one, okay, uh, this is the, the first video conference. Only for this one, we are not going to have the, the post. Um, but for the other ones, starting tomorrow's class, we're going to have a post here so you can practice, you can provide an answer for that one. Also remember that Today after the class or tomorrow be, before the class, we need to do the class, the first class uh, homework. So it's going to be very easy. It's just a, a matter for you to choose what will be the best option. And, uh, and that's it. So we're going to start with the platform already. And uh, uh, another question that I have for you is, Whenever, well, when I check the attendance, you are going to listen to the people. I know that the most of you, you had, you were together in the, in the previous level, right? So how long have you been without taking the class? It's like 15 days. How was it? When was the last class? Do you remember? Mm, mm, six. June 6th. So that was like two weeks ago, June 6th. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's not that much. That's that's good. That's very good. Okay. So we're going to start and we're going to check today about peer conjunction. Okay. So let's see. Heidi, could you please help me reading about this one? Okay, teacher. Pair conjunctions consist of two words and phrases that help make a point or establish alternatives. Also, pair conjunctions can be helpful in structuring a sentence. They can also make sentences order than necessary. So use these conjunctions sparingly. 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 Very good. So whenever we have a reading, we're going to check some vocabulary. I know that you have a lot of vocabulary. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to ask you, what is this? And you are going to try to explain in English. So this is a device, or this is a word, or this is a phrase, or whatever. OK? And if you don't know the word, of course, other people can say the meaning of that one in English, or I can tell, of course. So it says pair conjunctions. That is the first topic. Consists of two words or phrases that help make a point or establish alternatives. So that is the first thing. What are pair conjunctions? We use that one for, well, there are two words or phrases and we can use it to help make a point, to emphasize or to establish alternatives. You can do this or the other one, right? And then it says, although, what is although? In English, please. I know some words are difficult to explain, but that's why we are here to try to speak in English. So how would you explain that one? What is although? think it's a word that um, that tell you that something it's in a good way but then show you a bad way something like that or or, or a bad way first and then a good way <laughs> something like that very good Danny that is a very good explanation the also is something that explains like a change this is happening although and then there is a change, something that is, is going to be different from the first idea. Very good. 
So also pair conjunctions can be helpful in structuring a sentence. They can also make sentences wordier. What is wordier? You can check dictionaries and you can check whatever you want. The only rule is that we're going to explain in English. So what is wordier? Maybe in a way that we can understand. Okay, very good, nice. Of course, this one comes from word, right? So whenever we say a word here is like, sometimes there are too many words. Mm. So that's what it says. Also, pair conjunctions can be helpful in structuring a sentence. They can also make sentences worded. So it's good because we can explain something, we can make a point, we can, uh, with these words, we are going to be able to explain that there are alternatives. But if we use it in a way that is not the correct way, maybe we're going to use too many words to explain something. And we can get confused to other people that are listening or reading what we're writing. So, wordier than necessary. And this is like a comparative. Do you remember like uh, happier things like that? So wordy is like an adjective and we can use that in a comparative as well. Wordier, the wordiest. So it's that word. And then it says the necessary. So use the conjunction sparingly. So what is sparingly? What do you think it is? With measure. With measure, very good. With conscious, being like smart, right? We're not going to use this word like, ah, I'm going to put this word here and, and there. And. So this is like the, right? So the, there are some specific rules and we don't use that like in Spanish. In Spanish, we use el, la, los in many different ways but not in English. In English, we have different situations. I know that you know that already. Good, perfect. So do you have any questions about any vocabulary question here? Or do you have any question about the explanation of pure conjunctions? Teacher, also is similar to say in spite of, or is different? Yeah, it's similar, yeah, it's, it's similar, yeah. Any other questions? Okay, so let's move on. So the first one we're gonna check is both and and, okay? So let's see, um, Irene, could you please help me reading this? Okay. Uh, both and. The project will require significant investments of both time and money. Both the both the students and the teachers were satisfied with the pilot program. Note when two subjects are connected by both and use a plural verb such as are or were. Very good. So this is the very first one, so both and. So the prayer will require significant investment of both time and money. So in this case, it's not separate. We're going to use them together. Both this and the other one. I know that you understand the situation. Maybe the most important part about this one is the last part that it says when two, I mean, we're going to use uh, the verb as in plural. That is very important, okay? So both the students, plural, and the teachers were, where, can you see? That is plural, satisfied with the pilot program. So that is very important because that is where we can get confused. But I believe that both and uh, I, mean, I mean, I understand why I believe that you know how to use that one. So it's going to be exactly as in the examples. The prior will require significant investment of both this 
and the other one. In this, uh, in the first example, we don't use time in plural because it's an uncountable. The same happens with money, right? Money is uncountable. So, but the verb, well, the verb is will require and it's not possible to use that in plural. Do you have any questions about the first part? Clear as horchata. Okay. Are you sure no questions? Okay, so we're going to we're going to do a little pause and we're going to check the attendance because it's almost nine. Imagine. Time flies when you are having fun. Okay, let's see. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. Present teacher. Good. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeth Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, by any chance, these people that are not here by now, like uh, Roberto Luis, Steven Vladimir Villacorta, Suleima Yvonne Moreno. By any chance, do you know them? Uh, were with you last class? Yes, teacher. Okay. Suleima, uh, Steven. Yeah. Okay, if by any chance you have the contact in WhatsApp or anything like that, do me a favor and text them just to know if they receive. Sometimes what happens is that they do not receive the links for the, for the chat and they do not receive the links for the class. So if you get to know the phone number, please send them a message, let them know that we started the class. So maybe tomorrow they can join, okay? I will really appreciate and I believe that they also will really appreciate. Good, so before we move on, uh, just we check already both end. So we're going to do a little exercise, okay? We're going to write two lead examples using both end in the same sentence, okay? Let's write it down and then you are going to share with us. I'm gonna wait just a few minutes because I know that this is going to be piece of cake for you.
Okay, have you finished already? Or do you need one, two more minutes? Perfect. So if you don't need more time, let's listen to your ideas. Uh, who wants to be the first one? Maybe me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay, I wrote down a, a sentence about a superheroes franchises. Both Good. franchises, Marvel and DC Comics, are developing and filming more movies and have more projects incoming. Very good, very nice. That was perfect. So you have only one or you had the two? Um, both a, my sister and I a, were, a, or I don't know if, if it's correct to, to say, have the arm broken when we were kids. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, yeah. Okay. But, so both my sister and I had a, our, our arms broken when we were kids. Okay, very good, perfect, that was good. Okay, who wants to be the next one? It's just two sentences, very easy, very quick. Okay, let's check Eliana Giselle. Two sentences, right? Yeah, only two. So I, I don't know if I don't understand, but in these sentences we have to use both and the conjunctions or just two sentences? I mean, both and it should be both. included in the sentence. Uh -huh. uh, uh, mm, okay. I didn't finish the exercise. Okay. But could you could you give me a, just a two or three minutes? Of course, please? of course. Yeah. Uh, let's check with Danny. Maybe. Okay. And the first one, and both mother and son enjoyed the the trip. Uh, very, very good. Very easy. And the other one. Um, I'm so excited for the premiere of both shows, House of the Fire, prequel of Game of Thrones, and Lord of the Rings, prequel to us, the Lord of the Rings movie. Okay, <laughs> very good, that is nice. Actually, do you know when it's going to be released, the one from the Game of Thrones? In July, but I don't remember the, 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 exactly the date. That in July is a lot of the the Lord of the Rings, and in August I think is the House of Fire. Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to miss yeah, that yeah. one. <laughs> August <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. I, I uh, actually um, I subscribe to. Prime video to <laughs> in order to watch okay. uh, the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, nice. That's good. <laughs> yeah, Perfect. I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting. That would be amazing. Good. Perfect. Thank you for the examples, Heidi. Okay, teacher. Uh, I wrote both sodas and fast foods are not good for our health. Good. Perfect. And the other one? And the other one, both Michael Jackson's and Bon Jovi songs can be considered my favorites. Okay, very good. That was perfect. Jose Wilfredo. Okay, teacher. I don't have a time to grab because I was checking my computer. Okay. No because it's down, but I could uh, improvise. Okay. Okay, so I went to buy... I went to buy two things, but both of them was expensive. The computer and TV. Okay, that's good. Uh, probably is where where expensive. Where expensive. Yeah, yeah, where expensive. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other one it could be. Uh, I went to party and they offered me 
uh, two drinks and I choose both of them, uh, beer and water. Okay, that's good, perfect, nice. And uh, let's see Ana Claudia. Uh, I'm thinking in both my mom and dad met where when they were studying. Okay. And the other one, both presidents, Trump and Biden, visited Africa. Okay, that's good. Perfect. That's nice. Okay. Irene. Hello. Hello. Okay, one of them. Uh, both my mother and I are working every weekend. Okay. And another, both my both my my parent and I are eating out on every weekend too. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see, Maria Alejandra. Hi. Uh, I think that my uh, sentence is very simple, <laughs> but oh. I, it's, I don't know, it's okay. Um, both cars have the same characteristics and made the same company. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And the other is both insurance company have a good service and technology tool for the cigarettes the customers. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Let's check with Ramon. Hello, teacher. Um, well, um, the first one, um, I, I have a mother and grandmother. I love both of them. Uh, could you please repeat and... that? Hello? Yeah, could you please repeat that sentence? Uh, um, sorry, I, I don't hear very clearly. Yeah, could you please repeat? Oh, okay, okay. I have a mother and a grandmother and I love both of them. Okay, just the other, the only thing is that in this sentence you are going to check like something like both this and the other one. Okay, so but the idea is correct. Okay, what is the other one? The other sentence. Mm, let me see. Uh, the second uh, is I, I don't already. I have done. I don't okay. have already. Okay, perfect. That's, that's not a problem. So okay. let's check with Roxana. Hoax and like the song. Hi, right, well, uh, my first one is I have two, two BF, Charlie and Monica. Both are relatives. And the second, we have a meeting today. Treasure, Tesoreria, Treasure, right? Treasure, huh? Treasure and accounting. Both need a feedback next week. Okay. Okay, I guess this is very similar to the one that Ramon made. So remember that we're going to try to use both and whenever we're providing the explanation, but the idea is correct. It's not incorrect. Good. Thank you. Let's see, Fernando. Okay, teacher. I have um, both the teams and the organizer were happy with the profit of the tournament. Good. Um, both the children and the parents were satisfied with the meal. Perfect, that was very good. Let's okay. check Marcos. Hello, good evening. Uh, okay, um, the first one, um, I use both type of fuel for my motorcycle, regular and special. Okay, good. Uh, okay, the second one, I like both of those here, um, the red and the pink one. Very good, perfect, that was very nice. Now let's check with uh, Luis Orellana. Hello, Luis. 
I guess he is going to the supermarket. Okay. Okay, Eliana, let's go ahead. Okay. I have this, uh, these two sentences. I like desserts, both cheesecake and tiramisu. Good. And the second one, I'm going to travel to Mexico and visit two places, both Cancun and Ciudad de Mexico. Okay, that sounds good. Nice. Uh, who else is missing? Let's see, Jose Osmin. So, the first one is both your guys are going to uh, are going to go to the party tomorrow at nine, and you mentioned you mentioned two uh, advices. Both are good to put in practice. Okay. Yeah, the idea is good as well on that one. Very good. So we're going to continue and we're going to check about the other ones that we have here. Uh, let me just check something here very quickly. Okay, Luis, I got it. Okay, so let's continue with this. Okay, the other ones that we have is not only, but also. So remember that since we are talking about paired conjunctions, that means that we're going to use both on the same sentence. So that is the first thing, okay? So let's uh, read about this one. Ada, Azucena, could you please help me reading this? Okay, teacher. Not only, but also a student who did not they com not complete the assignment recite not only for rabbi or also warning from the teacher not only did the student include full sentences from the sources with two using one qu quotation 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 marks but they also filed to properly see the Paraphrase material. Okay, so let's check these two examples. This is a little bit more complex because the ideas are bigger. So that is uh, something that is going to be very common in this kind of situations. We're going to try to use these pair conjunctions in ideas that are a little bit more complex. So for example, students who did not complete the assignment received not only a poor grade, but also a warning from the teacher. So in this case, you can see the situation. So not only happened this, but other thing. So that is the idea of these two pair conjunctions. So, and the other one is a little bit larger. It says not only, so we know that if you start with that one, another thing happens, right? So not only did the student include full sentences from the source, without using quotation marks, but he also failed. So he did another thing. There is like another second action there, but he also failed to properly cite paraphrased material. So this is the idea of these two pair conjunctions. Not only happened this, but also happens other thing. So, any idea, any questions about these two conjunctions, how to use them together? So whenever you are, you are explaining one thing and then happens another thing that is like more problematic or like a consequence or something like that, we can use these two conjunctions together. Question. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, for example, when you are, a, um, I will explain with an example. When you are in a meeting and maybe uh, you are looking for a reason why, sorry, you need to look in for a reason why uh, something is wrong. So the first one, you need to explain the, um, the, pro the, the problem, right? And then, uh, you need to um, 
explain different situation or um, I, I, I don't know how to say it. Maybe you need to um, explain with a different point of view. Well, it's not like that. It's like imagine that imagine that something happened. Imagine that there was an accident, a car accident. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So when, when you are explaining that one, you can say he, uh, the other car, not only, not only did this, but also the other thing. So it's like you're providing the reason why, but there is another reason. There are two reasons. So for example, mm -hmm. in that one, you can say he, uh, the other car, not only uh, crossed the street in red lights, but also he was very fast. So there are two reasons. Okay. So then you, are, you can use this. So not only this happened, but also another thing was happening. So of course you fail, of course you pass, of course you, I mean, did many things. It could be not only bad, but it could be also good. So for example, you passed the exam because he uh, or you not only studied, but also practiced all night long. So you did okay. this and also another thing. So the other, the second one where you use, but also is like reinforce another reason why you are giving or doing or explaining this. So that will be it. So you need to looking for different reason. Yeah, in this case, it's like you are saying this, but also another thing, right? Okay. okay and you are okay. explaining something that is going on. Teacher, Go ahead. I, uh, I have an example. For example, right now, I'm uh, attending some signing classes, LESA. So let me use this as an example. Uh, students who uh, do not practice uh, signing, uh, they are not only missing to communicate with deaf, they are also uh, losing the opportunity to learn. Very good. So, okay. but also losing the opportunity of learning. Very good. Okay. 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 Yeah, very nice. So I guess we have the idea, right? It's like, for example, when I say to you, uh, if you don't speak in class, you're not only missing the chance of practicing, but also to communicate in the, with different people in this language. So you have like two reasons why it's important to practice. It can be negative or positive, right? Can be negative or positive. Yeah, that is not a problem. Sure. Um, Go ahead. <clears throat> I, I understand this topic or, or this a uh, preconjunction conjunction uh, in this way. So you you have to tell in the first sentence something bad or good, okay? But in the second sentence, you you are reinforced the first one with other thing who is a uh, worse or better. Uh, in a in 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 a way to um how to say that in a way that uh, uh, to explain better the situation. So it, it, uh, I I I think something like like this. Um, maybe other people are not not only. Um, um, how how <laughs> how to uh, make a sentence in order to 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 explain it in the way that I that I understand. Um, people are missing uh, to learn English. Okay, um, not only they they aren't uh, learning, but also they are. Um, missing the opportunity, like you said before, uh, or communicate, or, or understand, or um, speak 
in another language. So they, they could reach to, I don't know, maybe another position or something like that. Um, the second one is, is heavy, heavier than the first, than the first one uh, reason that you are trying to explain. Yeah, sometimes that happens. It's, it shouldn't, I mean, it's not that it's going to be more important or heavier. Sometimes they are like the same, the same, but there are two. I mean, the second is another reason. So it's not okay. only one reason, but another reason. Also that person did this or didn't do this, something like that. Very good. Okay, okay. Nice, perfect. Let's check some vocabulary here. Assignment, what is assignment? Maybe a task or okay. like a homework or like something. Like a homework or task. Something. Very good. It's like a homework, a task that you need to do, right? And poor grade. What is a poor grade? What is the meaning of that? Or how do you understand that? It's a bad, um, bad <laughs> qualification, bad uh -huh. note. Bad. That is it. He flunked. Very good. Uh, what is, let's see, source? Where the, where it's, uh, the situation right. is coming from. Very good. It's like the origin of the information of the situation the of anything. Very good. Quotation marks, what are those? The ones. Like. <laughs> quotation marks. That's that was really good. That's Those like two things. When you want to remark, <laughs> he was professional. With, with when you want to, with, to remark with, or when you want to. Um, with that only, with yeah. that only when you want to remark in another language, but also in science language. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Those are nice. Very good for everybody. And says properly cite. What is to cite? Uh, when you talk about something, but it's like a remember it's like a thinking, I have reference. Very good. It's when you say something that other people said or wrote, right? That in a book or something like that. So you cite that person. So very good. Perfect. Now, my friends, it's time to practice. We're going to write two sentences with not only, but also. I'm going to leave there in front of you the example so you have an idea.
Okay, have you finished already? Let's give it a shot. Let's see, Danny, Josue. I just wrote one, but I was thinking in the second one. But the first um, um, I'm wrote is, um, I'm not only traveling for business, but also I'm going to visit many places and taste the food. <laughs> very good. That is very nice. So I guess I, I see that everybody's still writing. So maybe I'm going to give you a few more minutes. I know that sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is our first day, teacher. <laughs> of course, of course. Don't worry. If you need more time, you can tell me. Also, if you, I know that you come from work. So if you need to have dinner, meanwhile, we're in class, that is not a problem. So that's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. Good to so, know. Yeah. So we are allowed to eat in front of you? <laughs> Yeah, of course. That is not a problem. I mean, okay. I don't want you to be hungry there. So okay. if you want to have coffee or something, okay, that is not a problem. So you can do it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's so I'm going nice. to wait five more minutes and then uh, we're going to continue. For you to write the second one and the other people to finish. Okay, I guess we have finished already. So, uh, Danny, do you have the second one? Yeah, yeah, I have already. Okay. Um, 
people in San Salvador not only drive very bad, but they also uh, violate, I think, violate the, the transit laws and cause uh, crashes or accidents. Very good, perfect. That was a very good example. Nice. And that is true, they violate as well. Juan Miguel. Okay, the first one is the last week I had a car accident. Not only broke the other car's bumper, but also broke the stop lights. Okay, very good, perfect. Okay, and the other one, uh, not only Marvel has more movies, but only they are better than DC. Okay, very good. I agree, to be honest with you. Good, okay. perfect. Jose Wilfredo Ayala. Yes, you tried to tell me. Yeah, uh, did you do the sentences? Uh, yep, with not only and but also, right? Yeah, please. Okay, my English class not only provide me a good skills to develop my job, but, uh, but also <laughs> I have to pay attention. Okay, very good, perfect. And the other one? And the other one is not only the to hear the class will learn, but also that is one of all alternatives. Okay, very good. Nice, perfect. Thank you. Well, let's see Ana Claudia. Yes, okay. Um, the first one is people who don't take breakfast are not only missing one meal, but also they are every day close to get sick. Very good, I like that. <laughs> and the second one, those girls not studying, just playing games all day long are not only losing knowledge, but also they are wasting their time. Very good, perfect, nice. Thank you. Now, Heidi. Okay, teacher. Uh, my daughter is not only beautiful, but also bright. Okay, very good. And the other one? The other one. The new teacher not only speaks English, but also speaks Spanish. Very well. Perfect. That was nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see Ada Azucena. I don't, I don't practice my English a lesson. Not only the result expect. And the people who did not follow the lesson get got sick the, and they made their family sick. Okay, but there were missing just uh, part of the of the phrase, like that. but also you didn't use that one and the other one you didn't use it. But you can review that one, that is not a problem, thank you. Okay. Ileana, you shall. So, in the first sentence, she not only writes good songs, but also acts in successful movies. Good. And the second one, they not only failed the exam, but also lose the semester. Okay, very well. Nice, they lost the semester. Irene? Lost. Okay. She is not only handsome, but also intelligent. Thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> nice, <No>, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the next one, she speaks. English not only nat naturally but also fluency. Fluency, very good. That's nice. Thank you. Maria Alejandra. Hi. I don't sure but I say. Uh, the company not only give me the opportunity to work at home, also uh, give me all the equipment to do my job. Okay, very uh -huh. good. And when I finish the university, my parents not only felt happy, also gave me a gift. But also gave me a gift. Good, uh -huh. very good. Thank you. Nice, Fernando. Okay, teacher, I had uh, not only did not hit, sorry, not only did not his homework, but he also annoyed his sister when she was doing her homework. Okay, very good. Um, my mother didn't take her medicine. She not only forgot, but also lost it. My goodness, that's not good. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. 
very good examples. Jose Osmin. Okay. So people are losing opportunity to grow in this country. Not only they don't make an effort, but also they don't find a way to go for it. Okay, very good. And the second one, my cat is so lazy, not only it, it's fat, but also it, it sleep a lot. Okay, very good, perfect, that's nice. Uh, Marcos Ayala. Okay. Um, people who came back to home not only got stuck in the traffic, but also faced the rain. Okay, very good. Okay, the second one. We did we didn't only change the roof to be prepared for the winter, but also we did a pavement in the back garden. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Let's see Roxanne. Okay, the first one is I was working until late, not only forget my personal stuff, also I forget my mom's birthday. Okay, you forgot. That's a good. And then next, next is we have we have been improving the process in the company. Not only solve her cases, also we receive more project to the to development. Okay, but also we receive. Okay, very good, perfect. Uh, Ramon. Okay. okay, go ahead. Uh, the first one, he not only studies hard, but also works well. Good, nice. And the second one, the, let me see. I can't, uh, okay, he not only read the book, but also remember what he read. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Uh, Luis Orellana. Hello, Luis. Okay, Francisco Eduardo. Ah, Francisco said he was not able to, he's still working, okay. Okay, so do you have, ah, okay, go ahead, please. The first one, if you buy this car, not only you get a new car, but also you buy quality. Okay, and very good. One, if you study a university career, not only you will be a professional, but also you will contribute to country development. Okay, very nice, very good, perfect. So any question before we move on, everybody? It seems that that was very good. We have some other, either or. I guess this is very common and maybe you have choose, you have used this before. So either the students were prepared, unprepared, or the assessment was poorly written. Can you see here? This is like one thing or the other thing, one or the other. So that is it, either or. So. Participants in the survey could either choose from a list of possible answers or write in their own response. Two choices. It's going to be very easy. Actually, we use that a lot when, uh, when you answer something. So for example, if somebody asks you for you to choose something, you can say either or. So it's one or the other one, not both, this or the other. So either or, I guess this is kind of easy, but let me ask you, do you have any question about this? Two choices, remember. Either this happens or the other one, not both. This or this. Do you have questions about this? Is it clear if it's if it's not clear, let me know, of course. No questions. Okay, that's maybe, interesting. Go ahead. Maybe with, with another example, please. 
yeah, you can say, for example, um, let me think. You can either go to the party or come to work. So okay. that means that you do this or the other, but not both. Okay. Another example could be you can either have the chicken or the meat. So only one, okay. chicken or yeah. meat, not both. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So this is a little bit more easy. I mean, the other one was not that easy because uh, sometimes there are more explanation that we need to provide, but in this case, it's going to be kind of, yeah, easier. So uh, let me see, there is no questions here. Assessment, what is assessment? Do you remember? It's like a test. Like a test. Okay, like a quiz. Uh, what is survey? A questionnaire asking most of the time after a service. Very good. Yeah, survey is like a questionnaire for, for, for getting a feedback about something, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't think there is any other. So again, we're going to, well, we have a few minutes. I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to write two examples. This is going to be a, a, a little bit easier, but of course I will give you time, okay? I will leave the example there on the screen. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, well, I have a um, sentence. Uh, okay. The holding either 
needs to improve the cells or it's lost. But um, I don't have uh, the clear idea when we need to uh, insert the either. After, well, okay. after the verb? Well, there is not a rule for that one, to be honest with you. There is not like a structure. That depends on the situation that you are explaining. For example, for the one that you told me is not proper because you are using or as a consequence. If you don't do this, there is something that is going to happen. But when we use either or together, it's because you will have two options. I mean, you can do this or this, not both. Okay. But that is the thing that sometimes we can use or or either in different other situations. So either or is for two, two options that you will have. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good, has everybody finished, I guess? Let's yes. check on that. Okay, Jose Wilfredo, we're gonna listen to you first. Hello, Jose Wilfredo. Okay, I'm here. Go ahead. Yes. Like I told you that I was checking my computer, but well, uh, maybe either coffee or tea is fine. I'm sorry, could you please repeat? Either coffee or tea is fine. Okay, that's good. Then we could use either blue paint or red paint. Okay, that is good, perfect, nice. Now, Juan Miguel. Okay. You should choose one. Either go with your friends or go with your family on your uh, weekend trip. Good, that's good. And the other one, either you are able to buy the car or buy the pickup. Very good, perfect, nice. Uh, Danny. Uh, we can write uh, either our own examples or use the ones the teacher provides. Good. Um, you can choose the way they can reach, reach you, either phone call or email. Very good, perfect, nice. Uh, Ada, Susana. Uh, you can either stay at home or call me with me. Very good, perfect. Uh, uh, you can either call me at home or the office clinic. And uh, either we go to the Mexico or the we stay. Okay, very good, perfect. Ana Claudia. Okay, uh, we can go to dinner either Wednesday or Friday. And the other is people can choose to get paid in cash or through their saving accounts. Very good, perfect, that was nice. Mm -hmm. Irene. Okay. I'm not sure where he is, where he is from. I'm not sure where he is, he is either Spain or Italian? Okay. I save some money to, bo to buy either a new dress or new shoes. Good, perfect, that was nice. Let's see Ileana as you saw. Sorry, um, you can either choose wine or water. Good. Um, and the second one, Ale, Fernanda, Alexis, and I plan, plan a trip. Ale, who's my best friend, can either go in my car or Fernanda's car. Good, perfect. That was very good. Let's see Heidi. Okay. Either I drive to the airport or I get a taxi. Good. And the other one, I saved some money to buy either a PS4 or an Xbox. Very good, perfect. Nice, Fernando. 
Okay, one, you can either go to the pool or go to the park. And two, he could either choose a party on the lake or a trip to another country for his birthday. Very good, perfect, that was nice. Maria Alejandra. Hi. Um, you can either eat a junk food or follow your menu for a, the diet. Okay. Uh -huh. And you have the opportunity either to uh, work from home or come to office three times a week. Okay, very good, perfect, that was nice. Let's see, Jose, uh, Jose Osme, I'm sorry. Okay, so you can either eat chicken or pizza, and the second one is, uh, today is Father's Day. You can either uh, stay at home or, or get double pay. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Marcos Ayala. Okay, um, um, either I fix the problems with the microphone or I can connect from other device. Good. Okay, and either I go to my appointment early in the morning or I could reschedule it. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Let's see, uh, Roxanne. Okay, the first one is, you can either go to the beach on Saturday or Sunday. Okay. And then either improve the sales or looking for another possibility. Okay, very good, perfect, nice. Okay. Now let's see Ramon Enrique. Hello Ramon. Okay, not possible. Hello, teacher. Ah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. Uh, the first one, you can either stay here or come with us. Okay. And the second one, you can either go by bus or by taxi. Okay, very good, perfect, that was good. Luis Orellana. Hello, Luis. Not possible. Francisco Eduardo, is it possible for you? Right, teacher. And the first one, I don't uh, find my keys. Uh, either I live in the car or in the house. In the other one, I don't find the difference between two suspicion. A, a, they are saying or the difference is very small okay very good perfect that's nice okay everybody uh, do you have any questions about either or by now not at the moment teacher very good so you can see that the time flies and it's time to go to bed which is very good so <laughs> Before we move on, uh, well, this was just the first class. This is going to be the kind of activities that we're going to do. And also we're going to do some other activities. Sometimes it's going to be a matter for you to speak a little bit more fluent. And uh, I mean, we're going to do many other things. This is just the first approach. So um, do you have any question about the class of today? Any comments? No, it's okay for me. Very good. So we're going to check the attendance. And the first one-on-one for today is going to be for Ada Azucena Cáceres, okay? Present so teacher. let's check. Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. 
Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Álvarez. Present teacher. Good. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Good. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. <laughs> Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Dream in English and see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank good you. night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Hello, Ada Asusen. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi, good. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure, teacher. I have uh, not been able to, to enter the platform, teacher. I oh. will speak uh, with the technical support in the in the, in the morning. It's, uh, it's a problem. Um, En realidad han sido los dos módulos anteriores, dicho. El no problema. Uh -huh. Entonces me crearon un correo para las evaluaciones al final de la evaluación pasada con el correo de mi hija, del colegio de mi hija. Y he querido ingresar desde ayer que nos mandaron el, la invitación y no, no me permite accesar. Entonces quise bajar el, el, el manual para repasar y leerlo y se me, se, me, se me dio problema. Entonces eh, quizás desde ya lo voy a empezar a hablar con, con Luis, creo que es Luis Bonilla. Sí, creo que sí. Ajá, entonces al final del, del, del módulo pasado tuve ese problema que yo realizaba todo y el progreso me salía sumamente bajo. Entonces lo que hice al final fue mandar todas las capturas de lo que trabajaba en la, en la computadora de mi casa, en la computadora de la oficina y de la clínica y las que tenía las capturas en el teléfono. Entonces voy a, tomar, a retomar eso porque le escribí a Catherine Domínguez, creo, y me dijo que con el correo mío que había accesado desde un inicio, con ese trabajaba, pero no se puede. ¿Verdad? Okay. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, sí, las disculpas ahí del caso, pero yo estoy seguro de que si usted habla desde ya, le van a poder solventar, ¿verdad? Para que usted ya pueda sí. ver todas las, las homeworks. Sí, realmente, los... realmente para mí es bien difícil por mi trabajo, trabajo 724, mm -hmm. entonces procuro el máximo de tiempo que me queda aprovecharlo. No me gusta que se acumule el, el trabajo ni el material. Sí. Generalmente yo trato de, de ir al día o adelantarme si puedo cuando tengo tiempo, ¿verdad? Así que a mí me cuesta pronunciar mucho. Me, siempre pienso lo que voy a decir y eso me, me cohibe un poco. ¿Y usted piensa en inglés o piensa en español? En los dos. Ah, ok. Ah, quizás es una de las primeras cosas que tiene que empezar a hacer. Tratar de pensar en inglés. Mire, un ejercicio muy bueno que usted puede hacer Cuando tenga el chance y se quiera relajar, es tratar de pensar todo lo que usted va a hacer en inglés. O sea, es decir, algo bien sencillo como voy a ir a refri, voy a sacar los frijoles. Eso pensaba en inglés, ¿verdad? Voy a hacer uh -huh. esto. Y en el momento que usted tenga palabras que no conozca, las puede buscar. Y poco a poco se va a llenar en primer lugar de vocabulario. Y luego, pues, la práctica también. 
Otra cosa que podemos hacer es en la clase, bueno, yo les recomiendo que hable, aunque se equivoque, ¿verdad? porque sí. esto es muy importante. Y puedes escuchar también cómo los compañeros están hablando, cómo lo dijo, cómo, cuando estamos leyendo, cuando cualquier persona está leyendo, ver la pronunciación. Y eso le va a ayudar. Entonces, sí. una de las cosas que vamos a hacer quizás es, eh, porque son 18, entonces tengo libres 7 spots para otros one on one. Al final del curso, otra vez nos vamos a volver a reunir, porque como usted es la primera, ¿verdad? No hemos visto mucho, pero nos vamos a volver a reunir para ver si sí, hay algo pues en lo que más le puede ayudar, cómo hemos avanzado, cómo ha sentido las clases, el feedback es bien, muy importante pues para, para ir mejorando. ¿verdad? Entonces, Perfecto, teacher. eso vamos a ir haciendo. Y con la plataforma, pues sí, ni modo, ahí hay que, pero sí, lo que tiene que hacer es empezar a ver desde ya, ¿verdad? Desde ahí se sí, entiende desde ya. Uh -huh. Sí, porque terminamos hace poco y yo tenía problemas desde el 16 de mayo. Ya había, pero ya había hecho hasta, la, hasta el examen de medio curso y no aparecía. O sea, en, digamos que yo hoy lo dejaba al 50%. En la mañana que yo revisaba ya estaba al 8 o al 9%. Entonces, no, solo, según me dijeron, nunca había habido ese problema. ¿verdad? Pero desde ahorita estoy viendo que no puedo entrar. pues Entonces, voy a hablar desde mañana. Le mandé un mensaje a Luis y a Catherine temprano. ¿Verdad que se ingresaba con mi correo o con el correo de mi hija? Porque al principio me salía la cuenta en el, en el correo de mi niña. ¿Verdad? Entonces voy a tratar de hacerlo mañana. Perfecto. ¿verdad? Sí, y, y en cuanto pueda ingresar, también es importante que vaya verificando si el progreso va avanzando. Entonces, sí. porque ahí son dos situaciones diferentes. La primera es el acceso, que creo que va a ser muy rápido, muy fácil. Pero luego cuando ya vaya avanzando, que ya tengo unos dos, tres días de hacer homeworks, puede revisar si en verdad se queda guardado todo y sigue el progreso. Entonces, sí. para, para ver. Y pues cualquier bueno. cosa también, ¿verdad? Yo sé que como le digo, es la primera clase, pero eh, me puede escribir ahí el chat o el grupo en la clase también, si algo no se entiende con la confianza, ¿verdad? Que usted necesita ahí. Usted pregunta, mire, explíqueme otra vez, yo se lo vuelvo a explicar. Y vamos Perfecto. a ir avanzando poco a poco. Está bien, teacher. Le agradezco. Feliz noche. Gracias, muy gusto. amable. ¿Alguna otra cosa antes de finalizar? No, no. Solamente eso por el momento. Perfecto. Ahí le voy a preguntar gusto. mucho después. Ah, por supuesto. Ahí estamos en la orden. Ok. Gracias. Feliz noche. Muy Feliz amable. Noche. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.